Hello everyone, and welcome back to another string review and play test. Today's string on trial, tier one Tor status. And we've talked about tier one strings before in the past. We have a review for Black Knight, which I actually think is one of the best control orientated um, polyesters on the market today. Very impressed by that string. It made my top three list of best polyesters out there. And for the right kind of player, it's just an amazing string. The other string that I've played with was um, Firewire. And I've also used the Firewire Boost or something like that. And that one has a uh, Firewire in the mains and then it has a smooth string called Neos that uh, goes in the crosses. And Firewire in a full bed is extremely impressive for the spin potential. Now with this string, and the reason I bring that up with Tor status, what we have is something that exists in the middle. Okay, so the spin potential, the ball bite is there, nowhere near the degree of Firewire, um, but then it also gives you a little bit added control not as much control as Black Knight. So this is the one that sits in the middle. But for me personally, I think that I would put this string as kind of a distant third place behind those two. And I'll explain to you guys why as we go through this review. I just want to start by reading their description. And usually tier one's pretty accurate and pretty honest when they write these things. They're still gonna be buzzwords, but uh, not as bad as some other companies. So Tor Status is an innovative, high-performance co-polyester string designed to infuse your racket with a well-balanced, crisp feeling of power and control. In addition, this octagonally shaped string is manufactured with the latest technology to help unleash intense ball bite, enhance tension stability, and offer a softer playing experience. And this string was manufactured in Taiwan, as so many of these smaller companies, their strings are manufactured in Taiwan or Germany. Um, this string has clearly been inspired by something like Alu Power. That's what it's going for. I think that's why it's called Tor Status. That's the string that most of the players are using on tour or used on tour in the past. This string has also got a lot of comparisons to um, Vocal Cyclone, I think just because of the octagonally shaped thing. And for me personally, I like this one a lot more than I like Cyclone, okay? Because it feels closer to Alu Power, but it still offers about as much spin potential. Um, and it's probably a little bit stiffer than Cyclone as well, which is something that I prefer. If you want something softer, you'd go with Cyclone. You want something a little stiffer, you'd probably go with this one. My one big complaint and criticism, and it's the same criticism I have with Alu Power, and it was a surprise for me considering what I've experienced with Tier 1 in the past, which was after a few hours of playing with this string, I could definitely feel a drop-off. Not as severe a drop-off as Alu Power, but very similar. So right when I put it in, right when I played with it, I liked it immediately off the stringer. There really wasn't a whole lot of a settling in process. It played really well for the first few hours. No real complaints on my end. And then a uh, little ways in, it started to drop, and it's kind of fallen off to a pretty su um, substantial amount to the point where I'm playing with it now. I mean, it's still doable, I'm still using it. I'll probably keep it in for another few weeks just because I don't like cutting strings out early. Um, but for those of you that are a little bit more picky and a little more sensitive to that, this string isn't gonna probably last you more than, than five or six hours of heavy hitting before you notice the same thing that I noticed. That being said, the value, like all tier one strings, it's, it's right there, it's in that $9 price range and every couple times a year you can probably get it for seven seven fifty or something if they're having a sale. So definitely a great budget string, a great alternative to Alu Power. And if you're a fan of that string, I would definitely recommend trying this one out um, because you will save a substantial amount of money for a similar playing experience. I still like the feel of Alu Power a little bit more and my guess is the spin potential um, it is there a bit more with Alu Power, but this is certainly a good string and it exists somewhere in the middle between Black Knight and Firewire. That being said, I do prefer those two strings to this one. So um, not a must try, but definitely an above average polyester string that more or less does what it says it's gonna do on the package. Thank you guys for watching and we'll be back with another string review very soon. Take care.